All right, so we're here at a local grocery store to gather fruits and vegetables to double as victims for what the interns are calling vegicide. We needed the carnage of a zombie apocalypse, and who would have thought fruits and vegetables? Where can we find a cart? Oh. We went to the store and we got honeydews. I have medium ones. Cantaloupe. Celery. This is the quintessential bone break. We bought a wide assortment of fruits, including things like watermelons. Look at all of these heads just waiting to be smashed and destroyed. Eh, a little bit. <laughs> oh, almost. <laughs> wow. Pretty much anything your little heart desires for destroying zombies. I'm preparing for the zombie apocalypse, really. I could not resist buying, uh, it was apple cinnamon raisin bread. Boris is buying one item and using the divider between our food and his one item. <laughs> We're having a barbecue. Cooking with Boris will commence very soon. It is delicious. Most delicious. You know what I love about cooking with Boris? The free samples. I have never sliced. I think we had enough practical experience with our weapons and uh, being around Boris enough that we knew how to survive a zombie apocalypse. Welcome back to Cooking with Boris. So, Mr. Boris, I see that we have uh, some fruits and vegetables and all these sorts of wonderful things. What, uh, what dish are we preparing today? Dish? No, no dish. These are legs, heads, arms, and spleen. <laughs> These are all victims for what I call vegicide. The Boris blade. Did you see, the, did you see this, this machete? He uses this to change the tire on his car. Because if he gets a flat, he just simply walks up to another driver and goes, put your tire on my car. <laughs> Do you want me to hold the table to make Shh, I'm performing. All right, now I'm gonna get all this water out. I'm gonna need another towel, big one. You guys could just stand there and make the cameraman do it. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. That's the sound I was going for. You guys wanted it, you guys have it. I want nothing but carnage. Destroying all the fruit was an experience. I'm going to kill the sh out of these fruits. Oh, if the fruit was a zombie, I highly doubt it would survive. Anybody else want to do some stuff? Gotta say, Sandy also was really impressive. They do a big in the triple D. She knew her way around a weapon. So Boris, what are you going to do to this uh, watermelon? So I think with watermelon, I'm going to take a sword to it first. Oh, shut up! It was a good amount of fun interacting with food in a different way. Having fun with your food, unlike what your parents always tell you. Boris the Impaler! My favorite sound definitely had to be when Boris was eating the watermelon. Who would have thought eating like a zombie would sound like eating like a zombie? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I know! Ghostbusters! <laughs> Let's smash some stuff now. They actually used the coconut as a weapon. We destroyed everything. There was a huge pile of carnage that was fruits and vegetables. I like bashing stuff! Maybe the coolest sound we did was on John's suggestion. I took a plunger to a watermelon. I'm just the guy who eats everything. Chris had the best technique. I'm thinking uh, biting into it and making zombie noises. He and John took it upon themselves to light and eat the vegetables to get those nice crunch and squish sounds. Don't do this at home. Unless you really want to, then go ahead and do it at home. Clean up. It was pretty intense. If you can believe this, this, this is the room that we massacred all that fruit in, and look at it now. Spot and shiny, beautiful. So we did a good job. Gotta give it to you, Rick. You sure know how to clean up after a long day of recording. I've done this before. It's not with vegetables. Hey, well, hello. Mr. Boris. I have for you some very fresh vegetables. 
Hey, wait a minute. Where'd you get those? Boris! 